What's good, beautiful people? It is your girl, Bomb to Bomb, back for another edition of my personal NBA predictions. I just wanted to talk about what I think would happen if the playoffs were to start today, particularly in the Western Conference, because the East has been exciting this year, don't get me wrong, but the West has really been like an interesting race. You see a lot of people moving in, people, a lot of teams moving in and out of the standings and things of that nature. So I just wanted to get into who I think would win, depending on the matchups, like I said, if the playoffs were to start today. So first off, it would be the Warriors in the first seed versus the Clippers in the eighth seed. Everyone already knows, like the Warriors nine times out of 10 are probably going to come out of the West. I won't say they'll win the finals, but I will say they're gonna come out of the West. But in particular, I like this matchup with the Clippers because the Clippers, have somewhat of a, le of a level playing field when it comes to offense. I like that they have Montrez down low and they also have Zubac, which they acquired from the Lakers. But shooting wise, Shamit, he's really, he's been doing really good um, since he came up from the 76ers. Dalinari, he's always been one of those like consistent players who shoots very efficiently, but people don't really talk about him, but he does very, very good. He's always been on my radar. And so I would say he would be a good matchup for them. Lou Williams, we already know he's lights out. He's super clutch. So the only thing that bothers me about the Clippers is their second unit. I'm not super confident in when it comes to like Garrett Temple and Jermichael, Wilson Chandler. I'm not sure how they would do up against like Iguodala and Livingston and um, Quinn Cook. Like, I'm not sure sure about their second unit. I would say the Clippers could take the Warriors to like possibly six games, but of course this is all hypothetical, so we'll just have to wait and see. Next up, the Nuggets in the second seed and the Spurs in the seventh seed. I think it would be pretty even as far as um, matchups go. I feel like the Spurs, they can hang with anybody except for the Warriors. <laughs> Last year they got swept without Kawhi. Um, I think they could hang with the Nuggets. Spurs have been fighting, you know, earlier in the season, people were saying, oh, they might not make the playoffs. Or it might be the first time in like 20 years that they don't make it, but it looks like they're gonna make it again for the 21st year. I think this is the 21st year. But I think they have an even playing field because while the Nuggets have good big men that can shoot like Plumlee and Jokic, Spurs also have that with LaMarcus. I will say they're a little more vulnerable when it comes to shooting because Nuggets can stretch the floor with pretty much most of the guys they put on the floor when it comes to Isaiah Thomas, Gary Harris, and Jamal Murray. Those guys can shoot and then even their bigs can shoot, which is Jokic and Plumlee. So it's a little scary to me because LaMarcus He's like the main big man on the Spurs and he can shoot, but he's more of a mid-range person. He, he's not a three-pointer kind of guy, but he can make them, but he's not that kind of person. So it's a little shaky for me. It does make me feel confident that they have Bellinelli and Rudy Gay and Berton. So I think the Spurs could take the Nuggets. I'd say they could probably take them to about Six, maybe even seven games just because the Spurs is a very great team and they'll fight to the death. Like, they'll they'll try to win against anybody. They have that kind of mentality. So I would give them about seven games, but honestly, Nuggets are gonna come out winning, I already know. <laughs> They're just too good. Nuggets are too good. Next up would be the third and sixth seed, which is the Rockets and the Jazz. And with this one, I'd say the playing field is pretty even as well. Gobert up against Capella. I feel like their defense styles are kind of similar. They pretty much stay in the post or do like the pick and rolls. You don't really see Capella shooting a lot from outside, nor do you see Gobert doing the same. So I think the matchup between them would be good. Harden and Mitchell, that'll be fun to see them shooting against each other. And then Ingles and Tucker on the perimeter. So I feel like the matchup would be pretty even. Honestly, I don't know. I think it could possibly go either way. I mean, Harden, he's gonna he's gonna go hard, I think, just because it's the playoffs and they were so close last year to coming out of the West. So I know the Rockets are gonna go hard. It could go either way, but Rockets are probably gonna win against the Jazz in a seven game series. I'd say, 
I'd say it might go to it may go to six games. And then the fact that the, the Rockets, they also have Shumpert now who can add shooting as well as Gerald Green who comes off the bench sometimes. So the Rockets will probably come out. So yeah. And last but not least is OKC versus Portland. Now the thing with OKC is they have the toughest remaining NBA schedule. So their standings could change. They might drop a few. I mean, I, I like OKC and I love what they've been doing this season, but I'm not completely sure where they're gonna end up by the end. But right now, if they were to go up against Portland, I'm definitely betting on OKC just because of their starting lineup is really good. And everyone on that lineup can pretty much stretch the floor except for Adams. And then the guys who they have coming off the bench are really good as well, like Patterson, Felsen, and Noel, I mean, Noel's not really a shooter, but he's very good defensively. Oh yeah, and I love Ferguson and Grant too when they're on the floor. So I would say them against Portland, they're probably gonna come out on top. The fact that Portland has added cancer to their lineup for defense, I really like that move because I feel like that's where they were exploited last season against the Pelicans when they got swept. And it saddened me because I really like Nurkic as a defender, but then seeing him just get pummeled by Davis every time they played the Pelicans. It was just really sad. So the fact that they added cancer, I think that's really good. That's a good addition. <laughs> and Rodney Hood, who can give them some help with shooting. So I think cancer will make a difference, but I still feel like OKC will come out on top. OKC has actually beaten Portland four times this year. So it's looking like if they did, Start the playoffs today and OKC went up against them, they would win the matchup. So yeah. Yeah guys, that is my opinion on who I think will come out of the Western Conference playoffs first round matches. There's like between 14 and 17 games left for every team. OKC has the toughest remaining schedule because they have to play like the Raptors twice, the Bucks, the Warriors, and the Nuggets in their last of their 14 games. Then Nuggets are right after them, Portland, Golden State, Clippers, Houston, Spurs, and then Utah. So, I don't know, OKC, I'm not sure who they're gonna end up against, but yeah. I also wanna shout out Sacramento. I really loved how they turned around their playing this season, and they are fighting, 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 fighting to get into the playoffs. They are three and a half games out now, and their schedule, as far as difficulty goes, it's right in between Houston and Spurs. So they are like the third, third easiest remaining schedule. So I would love to see them fight to get in. They've been playing so good this season and they're above 500 right now with 33 and 32. So that would be awesome. But again, if they weren't against the AC, you know they're getting messed up by the Warriors. So <laughs> that's my take on it. If you guys have any like opinions or questions or you want me to cover something else please let me know in the comments down below and I will be doing one on the Eastern Conference probably within the week just like my opinion on like who will come out of each first round matchup so yeah you guys be on the lookout for that and thank you for tuning into my channel see y'all in my next video bye